Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful still life painting. So today I will uh, paint another subject which is a still life and I will put some flowers, uh, I think basket or or a base or something like that. So I don't know what this uh, what will come out on this uh, tutorial. So uh, let us see, just see everyone. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials and also like this video. Okay. Uh, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we're going to need and all the things that we're going to need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And I will do the underpainting first. Uh, it's the first step that I'm going to do, the underpainting. Uh, and I will uh, put first the background colors before I'm gonna put everything else. So I have here the roux umber. So I want to make the background first as uh, into solid, something like a solid background. Uh, I think I want it to be a little grayish background. So I want to put some red on the purple or blue on the yellow. No, I mean blue on the red and the uh, white I'm sorry here so I'm using a big brush So it's now showing up the gray stone everyone. Yeah, I, I'm not using any black, that's why I'm using uh, the gray or the blue and the red. When you mix the blue and the red with the white, it will turn out uh, gray, yes, something like that. There. So I'll just mix everything here. I'll just mix, uh, add a lot of colors. It will actually turn out gray or something like that. So I want to put first the background colors because I want to make everything uh, everything uh, first solid before I'm gonna apply the, the subject I want the so a solid background first something like that solid under painting you can mix the purple red or blue red and blue and then some blue umber and putting some white it would actually turn Ah, uh, like a grayish color. There. I think I want to put more, a little more grayish. I have to blend good everyone so that I have a beautiful background
so yeah i think that will be nice and good so i will let it dry first for at least five minutes and uh we're gonna go back adding some more details or starting to sketch okay okay everyone so i think the paint's already dry now i'm going to start adding the details so i will be using uh this number two nylon flat brush it's a small flat brush the smallest flat brush i have and i'm going to use this one for the sketching okay so i am going to uh, do the little sketching first before i'm going to add those details so rue amber and white i'll be using rue amber and white as my pencil or for the sketching so here i will put the the table I think it will be until here. So I'm going to put, I'm going to paint now the, uh, my base. Okay, so I put a cent uh, center line so that uh, it will be proportional, but it's still not perfect. Uh, on this base, everyone, I'm going to put uh, it will be inside the the basket. there okay so you know put some flowers here then this will be the edge of the of the table there and then I will try to put uh, a table napkin or something like that, a cloth. There, okay. something like an edge of the table there so I have now my sketch I can see it clearly now and here I'll try to put some uh, leaves I think a little bigger leaves, something like that. Yeah, I want to put a lot of leaves here. Okay, 
So I'm still doing my sketch, everyone. I don't know what. Uh, I, I I don't have any reference on this one. So also here, I'll try to put a lot uh, of flowers. there so I don't know what uh, flowers are some orchid uh, I don't know maybe some rose uh, daisies just a simple flowers it will not be hard for you to paint and also not hard for me <laughs> yeah okay so I'm done with the sketching and I'm gonna do the uh, colors now I will uh, put first the, I think the the leaves here what I'm gonna put at the dark undertones or under painting and then I will start here also so I'm gonna do first some under paintings and and after that I will start the details okay so I'll be using a bigger brush is the number two number eight nano flat brush so I have here the blue the red and the yellow which is I have now green I'm going to put some rumber to make it dark green my light source will be on the left always So I have now some leaves, leaf, I mean. I think I'm gonna need another uh, brush for this one. So I have now some bigger leaves. Okay. I want it to be a little bigger. So I have here again the blue and the red. I want it to be way darker. There. So we need to uh, don't press on the top everyone. Just do it a little by little and then press it on the bottom part and press so that we can create this kind of uh, details there some also some uh, some will be like a curve something okay So you can see now, uh, it's beauty. Oh, 
Okay, so it's better now. Okay, you can also do like that. The top will be bigger. Press it and then don't press it on the on the uh, when you are after a few press something like that. I don't know how to explain that. Okay, press it on the top. Something like that. Press, press, and then don't press it. Okay, make it light on the bottom part like this press and then don't press so they do, it will have like a stem there I think you can also do it it's a easy technique everyone uh, press press and then don't press okay Press, press, and then press. There. Also here. Press, then then press. Okay, there you go. So we have now this. We have now beautiful plants or leaves on these plants. So I think it's not so hard as it looks. And yeah, I'm very excited how to how this would end. <laughs> yeah. It's actually good. Now I'm going to clean my brush. I will just let it dry first on the on that part. I will just use a smaller brush, I think. This brush I will I'll make this uh, base uh, white in color, something like that. Uh, light in color, something like that. So I want it to be much more bluish and red. Oh, yeah, purple. And then white, more red. So the color will be a little purple, but I want it to be very bright later with white. So this is just the underpainting everyone. Okay. There. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll, I'm gonna use some uh, other brush.
okay this uh press everyone i'll be using it's a bigger brush it's a region size plus, plus number eight again i will be using this uh raw umber and white here yeah maybe i will just make it dark first because it will be a basket so i'm gonna use this raw umber sorry Okay, so we are adding first the underpainting of this. I think it should be way darker. So I have the here the blue and the red. okay yeah so i have now uh this uh this uh to call this basket but uh later we're gonna put uh, the details here there okay and then i'll try to use this dark again it should be darker everyone blue and the red so i am not using any black i am using i'm just using the red and the blue or purple or dark purple as my black so here i'll put first some shadows So I think this painting will just be very easy for you, for everyone. There. And then I will try some uh, purple with a little white. Maybe blue and the red. been a little here to create some uh, little depths there yeah just like that or maybe some shadows also here maybe okay so it's clear now and i think i will do this one here first or maybe i will do the flowers first yeah so i will try to put first some 
red orchids just to red and a little rue umber to make it much more solid red or darker red, red. okay Sorry about the dogs, everyone. Yeah, there's a circle. Or maybe a little bigger. So here. So here, one more. There, okay. And then I'll try now. I'll let it dry, and I will try. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe I will try to put. Yeah, maybe later. I'll just put. Uh, I'll try now to put some daisies. So I have here. Red and the yellow. Okay, there. What I will do now is I'm going to. So that's the first step of the painting the daisy. Um, just put some dots there, and then use. I have here the purple, or maybe you can mix red and the blue to mix some purple there and then white there and then I am using now I am using ju just this uh, small flat brush everyone number two this is good for this one and then we can create the petals. There, okay. Not so equal. Okay. And then also here.
सकते हैं दिस वन सॉरी तो हार्ड एवरी वन here we'll try to put something like that there I'll make this one bigger okay Okay, so the smaller is on the other side, it will be farther, something like that. Generally, I'm going to make it a little bigger. like uh, you're painting a star something like that So the same technique everyone, the same process so, on the other flowers also. sides now everyone so I like it, how it looks maybe some more flowers like uh, I, I don't know I'll think about that <laughs> okay I'm gonna put 
What's the orange on that? There. And then I will try to put some details on the on the rose. So red, a little yellow. Just a little yellow, but so it become lighter. On the other sides, like that. It's just very, very. It will not be so hard to create this rose. So here. There. Okay. That will be the basis of the ropes. Okay, I'm going to use a smaller brush now because I think that brush is a little hard to use. I'll be using this number uh, one liner or zero liner brush. So I'm gonna put white on the red. Okay, the lights are on, on the left side. It's okay, but if it's not so much like that detailed, that's fine. Okay, yeah, we have now uh, like a, uh, something like a rose there. Okay, so I'm going to put some highlights on the on the flower, but I think I will do. I'm going to paint another flower, everyone. I'll try to search or something. So I think uh, I need more details there. I want I want it to be. Uh, much more alive so I will put first some highlights on the flowers I have here the, the white here the pure white
Okay. I think this uh, good. Cuts everyone in the party. That's what you're nice. <laughs> Okay, so now some highlights on the on the flowers. Okay, there, that's good. I don't know what uh, flowers I'm gonna put now, everyone. I'll try to think. for some some highlights on the leaves so I think this is also important so we have here the yellow and the blue I'll put some more blue blue everyone and a little white try to put here there a little yellow there There. I think I'm gonna put a little yellow because that color is so much like uh, neon or something and more blue I put a little red also also here to be much more solid so I'm gonna add more yellow on the blue yeah There, I hope you can still see. So I'm gonna mix again for a little darker bluish color. A bluish green with a little red. So this part will be on the darker side. So you do not need to make it so much good, like uh, so much blend, blended.
Okay, so we have now some greens. I like this green. It looks good and looks. Uh, uh, it, it make it, it makes it uh, much more. Uh, it looks good. Yeah. Yeah, I want to put more, like um, more details there. I want to, I want to make it, uh, make make it look more alive. Okay, so. Thinking, uh, yeah, maybe I will put uh, like uh, tiny flowers, everyone, or maybe some kind of a uh, of a uh, lavender, something like that. So I'll be using this uh, red and the blue, and then white. Okay, I think more blue, something like that. Go on the red. Maybe here. Yeah. Okay. Just a uh, purple, everyone. Uh, not don't make it too light. here uh, I don't think that's too much light <laughs> I said don't make it too light And also here. Okay, there you go. That uh, that way everyone can see a little different kinds of flowers. Yeah, maybe here. And then from that I'm going to add uh, some highlights so it will be much more reddish so I'm gonna put more red and then white there Just put some dots, everyone, like that. There. 
yeah. not all every, everything you need to put you can also put uh, more bluish also on the other side there so not everything will be purple Okay, so we have now another type of flowers. So one more type of flower I can put here. I will also put some, I think, uh, I like yellowish. So I have here yellow, I'm gonna mix it for the red. I will be using this small brush. So just over the yellow, everyone. Okay, until here also. It's a uh, look like a DC, or not, but uh, it's a. Uh, Orange DC, everyone. Okay, so there. So everything becoming alive now. Okay. There. Okay, that looks good. And then I will try. It. I'm going to use an orange, uh, a yellow, everyone, a pure yellow. Yeah, just a pure yellow. make some highlights ok 
okay the light should be on the left Okay, so good. And this orange about I'm gonna put in the center of here. There. And also I think red on the other one. Red is better. It's almost one hour, everyone, and I'm still here on the flowers. Okay. I need also to put some stems. So I'm gonna mix for yeah darker blue and blue umber with a little yellow yeah And then I will try to put some details on this. I want to make it look good, everyone, especially this. And also I want to put some small, small leaves here. So here and the uh, yellow. But the leaves should be much more like a bluish thing or like a green. There. That's a small lips. Okay. Yeah, I think I will. We touch uh, some other lips you want. I mean, I'll be using the small brush, the number two nylon pot brush. This one. So I'm going to use this uh, blue and the yellow with a little red. I think I want to make it uh, put more blue and the yellow. Okay, and then I will try to put some reflections, I think some white.
And then I'm gonna make it lighter with white. There, and then I'm gonna put uh, more uh, yellow green, everyone. I want on the bottom part or the other side to make it like shining. there more yellow green and the blue Put some light green, everyone. Yeah, I wanted to put some light colors from the sun. Especially this part here. Just um, put it in the hole, so sorry, I think this is bad. <laughs> Make sure that you know that uh, some parts are still wet. <laughs> yeah, it's dangerous, still dangerous. Yeah, I'll try to put something there. So, good thing about acrylic everyone is that you can erase. Okay, and then I will also put some lights on the smaller lips. There, just some light uh, yellow green, everyone. That will be good. Okay, uh, make it uh, lighter. There, okay, that looks good. Uh, it's beautiful for me yeah I think that's uh, good now everyone I'm contented with that and it, take, it took me one hour per minutes so yeah uh, I put a lot of time on that part but it's worth it also okay that's it so I will be now uh, adding a lights on this uh, base everyone so I'm, I'm a little excited and um, this will make this painting uh, become alive okay so I'll be using a bigger brush this one and I want my base to be uh, white 
so here So, as you can see here, uh, we put a sh uh, casted shadow. I want this one to be really bright. Okay, and then I will use some purple, blue, and the red. So I'm gonna blend. So here it's a lighter purple. So I'm just adding the lighter purple to blend it here. Okay. put some white here make it uh, brighter here on, the, on this side uh, I can see that it has a, it has a full reflection okay there and then I'm going to blend a little by little on the sides here sorry And then I'm gonna use this uh, smaller brush, I mean, smaller, smaller flat brush. I'm going to put a little more bluish. Yeah, and I'm going to put a little light here. Make sure that uh, it's not so much wet. There. 
a little lighter here but um uh, it will be it should be much more bluish on color there okay you can see now uh, bluish color there on the sides and still it, uh, it looks uh, it looks uh, bright here hitting uh, hit by the sun okay so yeah it looks good and uh, uh, I can also see the, the cast this shadow from the from the leaves from the leaf yeah okay what else so I am going to create now the the base or the the basket I mean okay everyone so here I have umber yellow and the red and then white So it's a uh, brown everyone, but uh, it's not so much light also. And then we can create this here. Uh, not so much light first. Uh, we need to do this one before we're going to put a lighter color. Okay, and then I will be using this raw umber and white only. Okay, I'll put some line like this. This will be my guide where I'm gonna put the the details. This one will be a little lighter. this orange here I'm gonna mix it here with the white and yellow yeah I think more orange so it should be much more orange color everyone yeah maybe more red here just do like that yeah there to create the details of the the color it was like a little lighter a little lighter orange so also here I need to put
Oke ya. I'm going to add a little uh, gray or light brown. So it's a light brown here. And then we can put continue here. Okay. There. Continue, everyone. There. Okay. And then, even on the dark part, we need to put something also. Okay, and I will just make some white and yellow on the red. I'm gonna make this a brighter one. Okay, that's it. Yeah. I don't know, it looks flat everyone, so I need to adjust here. Yeah, to make it uh, much more round, something like that. And also here, I need to adjust. So it's important for me that it will look more realistic. Okay. I'm gonna light in here. There, so at this it becomes brighter that part and it looks like that uh, light hit this part there and it becomes lighter okay so 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 far it looks good everyone I'm gonna add more white here because I'm gonna lighten that uh, that base I'm gonna put some white
there. Okay, it looks good. Yeah. So, you can see now everyone, it, it turns round. It doesn't look flat now. So, it's better. It's way better now. Okay, so I think that will be enough. Okay, so... I'll just try to retouch here one red and the blue with the white oh, it will be much more reddish purple Okay, that's it. I don't know, but I'm trying to think uh, what I'm going to put uh, something like a design for the for this base run, but I will think about that later. I'm going to proceed now on the bottom part here. I'm going to put a cloth here, something like that, but maybe a white cloth, white table cloth there. So I think uh, I'm thinking of putting some white. Uh, I think uh, I'm thinking of putting a white cloth in everyone or maybe uh, blue yeah maybe some just white cloth there yeah. so that will be uh, a little contrast so I'll be using this uh, brush it's a bigger brush So I'm going to refill some white. I am also thinking of red everyone. It's also good. It will be it will be have a good contrast. Yeah, maybe I will try red. But I need to refill some white on my So I think red will be fine. It's good. Because uh I'll try to use this red and white with a little yellow there Also here, I want that to protrude this part. And then I'm gonna use some red pure red here
there so I'll make it uh, red everyone I like this color the contrast is good So we just have to fill everything with a red color. And we don't know where we're gonna put those lights. And then I'm going to use this red with a raw umber. So red, I'm going to make this part a little lighter. There, okay, that looks good. try some more red a little white a little light see I think uh, you can put first the light color everyone and then put uh, the dark or the pure red the color becomes brighter little lighter here yeah and then some lights there okay that's it Okay, so it's not yet done, everyone. I'm going to put something here. Uh, I think I'm going to put some lighter colors on the table. So again, just brown. Uh, it can be a little more yellowish brown. Blue umber, yellow, a little red. More yellow. to be much more reddish umber there Uh, 
little longer there okay yeah okay so I will also put here a little lighter So I'm going to blend it more here. And then I'm going to use this bomber to make it darker here also. here I'll try to put a uh, way darker over I'll just blend a little everyone just little by little to blend it good to make it look good there so it looks good yeah it looks uh it looks uh natural okay so i'm going to add some lights here also i need to put some lights on the on the red carpet everyone or table or napkin table napkin something like that uh, red a little yellow and the white here yeah maybe a little more darker a little light to create realistic napkin So it should it should not be so much light even because uh, this is supposed to be uh, a dark colored uh, napkin or something like that or tablecloth. A little lighter here, okay. And also some darks. Uh, umber and uh, red or maybe uh, blue and the red more red and this one is good darker way darker than that I 
thickness of here. just so easy and simple yeah I don't want to make it so much complicated and so much uh, like uh, that uh, it will not look like realistic so maybe I'll just make it uh, darker on the bottom part so, yeah but I want it to be really deep in red in color something like that okay So I'll be using again this and I have here red with a little rumber. There. So deeper it will be in this part. There, so this part will be uh, a little darker. So I want to blend more. You can blend it good, everyone, like that. Yeah, and I've been painting now for almost two hours. And of course, later on, I'm gonna put uh, little details there. I, do, I don't want to make it so plain. So I wanted to put some white uh, lines there. It will be good. It will make the details will make it much more realistic. Okay, I'm gonna put uh, reddish purple now. I think I need more red. And then white. Oh, more red. So this part, I'm gonna put a little more purples. There. Okay, I'm also here. And then I will retouch now uh, this uh, wood, everyone, or the table. I will put uh, like uh, I'm gonna put uh, like a paints there. I want to put some paints, but uh, it should be like a dried paints, like that, or an old paints. So blue, little red. And then white.
देखते हैं या जस्ट अ ब्लू एंड रेड वन lighter blue there let's see here Okay, it's a little bluish color, but it will be good. It will be uh, looking realistic. Now, I'm going to use this light orange here, little red. It's a flesh color. I'll just put a lighter color everyone there also here there Okay, yeah, I think that's uh, way better now. Okay, it looks good. And now I will try to put some designs there or yeah, on the, on the cloth so that this will become much more realistic. It's almost two hours now, so yeah, I can still have time. Okay. Yeah, I will put something, everyone. I will put some. Yeah, uh, I'll be using the same brush. Just a small flat brush. Again, I will be using this uh, purple, uh, blue, and the red and the white. Okay, so I'm gonna make it uh, lighter, more white. Okay, more white. So here everyone, I'm going to put some white This is those stripes. There. Okay, so <laughs> even that simple two stripes ago, it looks good. And then, yeah, I'm going to put some lines there, just uh, small lines. I will be using a small brush, this one. Uh, some square lines. Uh, we're doing first the uh, dark part. Okay, 
is still wet. It's not, it's not wet. So here. Yeah, here. Make sure that this, uh, the distances are equally grown. Uh, make it tall also. try to use this white there okay so now we can see that it's uh, beautiful lines okay so I will make it like uh, like uh, there's a uh, intersect or it's a square something like that. That is saying like a square. So I need to visualize how it uh, happened to be like a square. So I need to do a slanting here because it's slanting also. So I need to make it a perfect square. I'll start it here first. Okay, so yeah, it will be here so that you can see perspective. Uh, it will be a little smaller. There, okay, that's it. And then again, here I'm gonna put. And then also here but it should be white everyone I will also put here I suppose it's a square now okay and then also here so I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Okay. So here will be. I'm gonna make it uh, lighter. There. Still good.
yeah so I think that will be good everyone and so here I'll try to put one more okay there I'm gonna use some white yeah so it's now you can see now clearly what i am doing <laughs> i don't have any reference on this everyone so it's kind of hard a little hard and there okay that's good so at least it's clear now the design of this uh, cloth and it looks good it looks uh, still natural <laughs> Yeah. So I will let you see everything, uh, everyone. I'll try to retouch. What can I do? Some parts. So I'm thinking, everyone, uh, what uh, what things I'm, I can add here. Yeah, maybe everything's fine now. Everything's good. Everything looking realistic. Yeah, I think I will just put some darks on this. I will just retouch the base, everyone. So I think it's not so much realistic for me. So I think I will retouch that part. I think that's all I can retouch and I will be finished. Okay. So I will be adding some darks also. So here I have blue and the red. And here, I will try to make it darker. So I think it's uh, I need to work on that part. Something's wrong. Something I need to put more. I 
and also here. Yeah, and then I will try to put some white. I'll just bling a little more. There. Yeah. And then I'm going to put some white. Maybe I will put some uh, something like a crack there. Oh, I don't want to, to make this base so perfect. So yeah, I will try to put some cracks. Just rumber and a little uh, blue one will be perfect for the cracks. There, at least this base is not perfectly shiny. I'll make it dark. Something hole there. There. And then white. Yeah, okay. That's good. So I think I am done everyone. It's uh, two hours. So I finished this one for two hours. So I think it's worth it because I like the result. It looks good in my eyes and it looks pretty realistic. Uh, and I like everything what I see here and everything is good. Okay everyone, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord.